This is my 3D printed Christmas tree advent calendar. You just slide out a block every day, flip it around, and the count gets closer to that magical number one, the day before Christmas. I'll show you how to build one of these on today's episode. The first step was to design the tree. I used Tinkercad and the triangular tool that I laid on its side and stretched it out to as big as I could. This took up most of the platform. And even then I could only fit 21 of the 24 blocks. I made the blocks 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters and 20 millimeters deep. So this meant they stuck out one millimeter on each side because I made the thickness of the Christmas tree 18 millimeters. And this is what I wanted. I wanted a little bit sticking out. The next step was to make a mechanism for connecting the base to the tree. So I put a triangular piece and made it into a hole and stretched it across the bottom. That made a groove. Then I used that same piece on top of the base, only made it solid. So now the base could slide into the bottom of the tree. The base itself was big enough to put the final three blocks that I needed, the same 20 by 20 millimeters. Now the base also needed a wider platform so it didn't tip over. I made the base 36 millimeters wide and 90 millimeters long so it formed the bottom of the tree. It's like the trunk of the tree. So everything was pretty much in shape so now I just needed to group everything together and then create the STL file. So I just drew a box around the whole item and clicked group. Now it's ready to create the .stl file. So under the design menu I click on download for 3D printing .stl and it creates the file for the printer. I loaded the .stl file into the XYZ software for the DaVinci printer. As you can see it takes up most of the platform. I clicked on the export menu and selected 20% fill, 0.4 layer height, and I clicked on supports because the base would need this. I clicked on the export button and the slicing began. It took about a minute and 45 seconds to completely slice this. When the slicing is complete, the software will show the finished product. You can see the support material inside the base. This will be easy to break away because I did a low density. If you click on the info button, it'll show you the details of the print. Here it shows estimated time of 5 hours and 18 minutes and 40 meters of plastic so I can make sure I have enough loaded in the printer. I sent that to the printer and now I had 5 hours to kill. But I needed to make the block so it was perfect. So I went back to Tinkercad and started making the blocks. I used the box element and resized it to 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters but still 20 millimeters tall. This way it would fit into the holes inside the tree. Then I moved the work plane to the top of the box and then I went to the shape generators under Tinkercad and there's a text tool that makes creating text and numbers quite easy. I changed the word text to the number one and then I adjusted the height to one millimeter. I grabbed the corner and held the ALT key. This way I only changed the XY direction and not the height. Then I selected the block and the number and I went up to the adjust menu and selected a line. And then I clicked the center in the X and Y direction. This centered the number on top of the block. Then I selected the whole block and went to the edit duplicate menu and duplicated the block and then all I had to do was click on the number, change the text to 2, and I had the number 2 block. So I just needed to do this over and over 24 times. When I was done I had blocks numbered 1 through 25. Now I didn't need a 25 because the advent calendar only had 24, but the 25th one was a test block that I could play with for doing other things. I went to the design menu, download for 3D printing, clicked on .stl, and I had my block file. 
back to XYZ where I loaded in the file and centered it to the platform. From there, I clicked on the export menu and I used the same settings as I did for the Christmas tree. But I didn't need supports for this, so I removed supports and then clicked export. Slicing for this only took about 45 seconds, and then I had the finished product. So I sent that to my other DaVinci printer. Okay, so the Christmas tree print is done, and so is the base. They were printed together. I even tested a little block just to make sure I'd have the right size and that it would slip in and out of the openings in the tree. And it looks like the blocks themselves are done. I'm just waiting for them to cool. Now I went ahead and removed the support material that was in the groove and also the support material that was inside these blocks and along the groove here. And then I just used some fine sandpaper and kind of sanded in between here to smooth out the, the groove itself and also the same thing here on the tree, just a light sanding. And that should do it. So then I can join these two together the way I designed it. And it looks that it slips right in. And it's, it's just tight enough that it holds its place, but it's not too tight that I'm forcing it. And I'm not seeing the sides split, so there's not too much force like trying to separate this thing. So the sanding def definitely helps. But I get that lined up and probably could use just a little more clean up there, but there's the tree. So it's ready to go. Now I can test my test block and slide that in or reverse it. So it works pretty good. So now all I need is the rest of the blocks and I can finish the advent tree. Okay, now before I took the blocks out, I wanted to test something. I want to see if I could put white paint easily on the front of this by doing a dip method. So I took some white paint on a piece of uh, parchment. This is like a waxy type paper. And then spilled the paint out and just kind of did a you know, smooth spot. But it's, it's wrinkling a little bit. I was hoping it would be flatter. Got a wet rag here somewhere. <clears throat> and I printed an extra block that has a 25 on it and there's there's no 25 in this so this is my test block now because I printed them on the flat side and the way I've got my bed set to really grip and, and stick these to the bed I've got a little bit of a lip that I need to get rid of so I'm just gonna sand that off and I probably should do that away from the paint so it doesn't take much just a quick sand on each side And that should be good. And I can test it. Yep, pops right through. So that's good. Now I want to take the 25, just want to dip it in like a stamp. And there we go. I got just a little bit extra on the, on the bottom, so I'll just wipe that off. And now I have my 25. So that's how I'll paint the front of them and get my numbers to stand out against the green. So I repeated the process block by block. First sand it, then dip it. A few of the blocks I needed to touch up with my finger. And then the number two block I had to wipe it off and do it like three times. That was the pain in the butt block. But overall it worked pretty good. And there's the finished advent Christmas tree. So now as you do the countdown to Christmas, you just pop out the latest number, reverse it, and now you have green, and we're down to 23. Lose that day, slide it out, we're down to 22, until you get to that magical number one. So that's it. That's my Advent Christmas tree. If you like this project, check out some of my other projects. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this project, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a happy holiday, and I'll see you next time.